guys, Alfred here from Maximum PCs Australia, wishing you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We kick off 2013 with a new product now available from our online store. It is of course the mighty Intel Next Unit of Computing, or NUC as I will refer to it throughout this video. Today I have here the black version, also known as the DC3217IYE, which features dual HDMI out, three USB 2 ports, as well as a gigabit Ethernet port on the rear. Not only has Intel managed to cram a full-size computer into a 10 by 10 centimeter space, but I also admire the effort they have put into the packaging. As you may hear, you get a little surprise when you open the box. The sound which actually comes from this little light activated sensor embedded in the corner here. So what kind of hardware is lurking inside this little box, you may ask? So for this particular model, inside there is a Core i3-3217U, which is a 1.8GHz dual core processor with hyper-threading. This CPU also features Intel's HD 4000 integrated graphics, which powers the two HDMI ports on the back. The tiny motherboard inside features the Intel QS77 chipset, two sodium DDR3 memory slots, supporting up to 16 gigs of RAM, as well as two mini PCIe slots for installing a Wi-Fi module and an MSATA SSD. Bear in mind this is a bare bones kit so you will need to install your own memory, SSD and Wi-Fi card if necessary. I will be showing you this process later in the video. What you do get in the box is the Nook itself, a Visa bracket and screws for attaching the Nook to the back of a monitor as well as the 65 watt power adapter. Intel provides a 3 year warranty on the hardware inside the Nook. Taking the Nook out for a closer look, on the front we have a single USB 2 port, the power button and LED, as well as the hard drive activity LED. The case itself is very well made. The tops and bottoms are plastic, but the entire edge appears to be made out of metal which will help in cooling the components inside. Moving around to the back we have a power jack, another two USB 2 ports, dual HDMI outputs and the Ethernet port. Along the top we have some mesh that allows the little fan inside to exhaust the hot air out and on the right we have a Kensington lock. Finally having a look at the bottom we get more ventilation allowing cool air into the case and some specifications and other unimportant stuff. Today I will be installing two 4 gig sticks of Corsair DDR3 memory. These run at 1333 MHz with timings of 999.24. For the OS we'll be using Intel's 310 series 40 gig MSATA SSD. This may be the fastest computer build ever as I will be able to show you the whole install process. Firstly we flip over the nook and unscrew the four screws in each of the corners. This allows you to remove the bottom panel to access the slots inside. Opening this reveals the little motherboard in all its glory. Over here we have two DDR3 sodium slots where we'll be installing our memory. Align the pins and push down until the modules lock into place. Now that there is a total of 8 gigs of memory installed, we move on to the SSD. At the bottom here is where the half size mini PCIe slot is located. Normally a Wi-Fi card can be installed here and held into place with this screw, but I won't be putting one in for this particular build. Setting aside the two wires for the inbuilt Wi-Fi antennas, here you can see the tiny 40 gig MSATA SSD we'll be using, and a 50 cent coin for size comparison. For this 
310 series SSD, Intel has chosen to use 34 nanometer NAND flash. Intel states read speeds of up to 170 megabytes per second and 35 megabytes per second for write speeds respectively. Installation is as simple as unscrewing this screw first, slotting the drive in, and replacing the screw to hold the SSD in place. Replace the bottom cover and screw in the four screws. Now the Nook is all ready for Windows installation. After installing Windows 7 we can boot up for the first time, which it does so pretty quickly. Now I will stress test the system with Prime95 and MSI Combustor at the same time. So let's come back in a few hours to check out the temperatures. So a few hours have passed since I started the testing. And firstly looking at core temp we can see the CPU running at just shy of 1.8 GHz. Down here we can see how little power the Nook uses even at full load. Not even 20 watts making this perfect for businesses or as a compact home theater PC. Current temperatures are floating around 80 degrees with a maximum recorded of 85 degrees. So that sums up my review on the new Intel next unit of computing. Overall it's an excellent performer considering its small footprint. You can even mount it to the back of a monitor using the provided mount to save even more space. You won't be playing any graphically intensive games on this system. However, the hardware is more than adequate for processing 1080p video and for basic web browsing or document work. Be sure to check out this black model as well as the red nook at www.maximumpcs.com.au where you can select a variety of options to suit you. Again, if you like my videos, please subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I will try to help you out where I can. Finally, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.